Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2023 um, Chevy Bolt and the Chevrolet Volt. We have some lights on here. Um, first we have that one. That one's not as big. I mean, well, that's important and that's going to be diagnosed later. This one here, we have the squiggly lines and we have an ABS light on. Um, those um, happen to be on for whatever reason. And so we've hooked up a scanner, the UCAN-2, and to read the codes. So I've done a full system scan here, um, gone through the scanner, did the full system scan for us to know what we're looking for. So we have two different codes. We have one that's in this um, engine control module, and that tells us the transmission range control module, wheel speed sensor, or signal, it, it's, it's missing a counter or incorrect. And so that's a P174C-00. And then we next one, we have the electronic parking brake code. And this one is a C0040-06. And that is the right front wheel speed sensor circuit is got low voltage or it's open. And so that's giving us, um, between those two, we can know where to start looking at potentially what is a problem. And so we're going to go start and look at the right front speed sensor and go through that process of how to replace it if, um, if that's what needs to happen. All right, so over here on the right-hand side for replacement of the ABS wheel speed sensor and, and or inspection of the sensor to see that nothing is cut or frayed. And if it is cut or something's going on there, um, then we'll go through that process to be able to replace it. Um, you can also um, go into with the scanner a lot of times and you can um, go into live data and when you do the live data then you can spin the wheel if nothing looks um, broken here and you don't see any damage you can spin the wheel in the live data and if this wheel doesn't uh, make any movement um, then you can tell that the, definitely the sensor has gone bad itself or something there. But, so how we replace this is we need a T30 to undo a bolt here on the back of the sensor and then we can remove the sensor and work our way around and get up into here where the electrical connection is. Now, we have our T30 right here. Okay, so remove that T30, and then the sensor should be able to come out. Sometimes you've got to move them side to side, and then um, be able to, to work it out and get that all to come out of there. And so that's out. And then we're following the line here. We have a little clip clamp that's holding it there. We have another one here. And then... Um, there is a T, um, it's a T15, little bolt that goes up here, and then down here um, below, there is a, a 7 millimeter bolt that you can remove, and that way it gives you just a little bit easier access to be able to open this up, to reach up in here. Now this, if you slide it forward, I have to reach up in there. But either way, it it'll, should slide forward or backward to unclip it. And then you're going to see the little red tab here. You need to press that um, up and away. And then being able to squeeze the black tab in there to be able to open um, the clip there. And that way we unhook our ABS wheel speed sensor, get a new one for replacement to put back in there. So now the reverse process is how you would put your sensor back in for replacement. And so reaching up here, we have our sensor cable connection. Make sure you double connect that there. 
and then you'll see this little groove on here. We need to line that up. There's a little piece that holds it up here with a tab on the back. So line it up in there and then it locks up there. It does happen, your sensor does happen to go above this little piece of metal there. Um, so we'll try to do that for some more protection. And then routing the sensor back around on, on those clips and everything so that it stays a well away from the uh, drivetrain and to get caught in there. So then you just need to come back. We're coming back on this side where we removed the sensor out of the, the hole there and then being able to install it, press that into place and then um, installing our T30 screw back there and tightening it up just snug to hold it into place. And so that's how you'd replace your ABS wheel speed sensor if you need to on your 2023. And this is the front ABS wheel speed sensor on the 2023 Chevy Volt for any reason. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.